So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 12th to 14th of April 2023. And coffee time ke hua hai that the number of news uh, is very less today. Only 10 questions are there. However, 10 questions are no less. Wo bhi aapke liye kaafi hai. All right, so let's uh, begin with the class without any delay. But uh, before we begin, guys, if you want to have the PDF of this session, because some people were asking in the class, in the previous class, that where can we get the PDF? So if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And one more information which I want to convey you guys here that uh, these classes, PIB 247 and RBI 247, these two classes are for the phase two of RBI Great B and Award Trade and SEBI as well. Uh, but if you want to prepare for the current affairs of phase one, then there is a absolutely free magazine available on the website of Anuj Jindal that is Spotlight, right? This is absolutely free monthly magazine. So you can have the access to the Spotlight for preparation of phase one current affairs. Okay. So let's talk about the very first question, which is about the fine 2023 so festival and festival of innovation and entrepreneurship was inaugurated recently in New Delhi to recognize, respect and reward the grassroots innovations and foster a supportive ecosystem. It is being organized by. Okay, ji, isko kaun organize kar raha hai? Remember, it was inaugurated first of all by President Draupadi Murmu, and it was inaugurated at Rashtrapati Bhavan, the president's house. And during the event, the the Rashtrapati, the president, also presented the 11th Biennial National Grassroots Innovation and Outstanding Traditional Knowledge Awards of the National Innovation Foundation. Remember this fine, which is Festival of Innovation and Entrepreneurship, as the name suggests. It was organized to recognize respect and reward the grassroots innovation and supporter supportive ecosystem it is for the grassroots innovations right and it was organized by the office of president in association with the department of science and technology national innovation foundation india okay so which organization was there from the department of science and technology it was national innovation foundation all right so that is all so it was organized by officers office of president and department of science and technology which means a and c Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to the next question, which is about the National Career Service Project. It is a, again an important uh, question. So you have to identify the incorrect statement about the National Career Service. Now remember guys, it is not a new thing. It was launched in the year 2015 to build a bridge to reduce the gap between the job seekers and the job find uh, and the and the job givers. Okay. So National Career Service Project was launched in 2015. Then why we are discussing it today? Because again, a parliamentary reply has been submitted by the government of India, right? So let's talk about National Career Services Project. Remember, it is a one-stop solution that provides a wide array of employment and career-related services to the citizens. Now, what type of services are these? These services are job matching, career counseling, uh, vocational training, skill development, entrepreneurship trip, uh, training, right? This way, this training provide karai jati hai so that a person can avail, so that the person. Uh, who is availing the benefits under this uh, project can uh, avail an employment opportunity for himself or herself, right? It was launched in the year 2015. It basically, uh, you know, connects the job seekers and the job givers, right? It, it is a portal where the employers uh, post about the uh, vacancies and the job seekers can find those vacancies accordingly. Jo bhi unki, uh, eligibility hai ya jo bhi unki qualification hai, uske se wo apne it was a five year mission mode project, but it is still going on and it is being implemented by Directorate General of Employment, which works under the Ministry of Labor and Employment, okay? which means it is a project of Ministry of Labor and Employment. Do remember it, it is not the project of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. So you can be confused. And there are three pillars of these, the, of this NCS uh, project that is an NCS portal. This, this is a portal uh, which provides all the information. Countrywide setup of model career centers and interlinkage with all the states through employment exchanges. So these are the three pillars based on which the National Career Service Project is being implemented across the country. All right. So that is all about it. And let's identify the incorrect statement. It is a five-year mission mode project launched in 2015. It is being implemented by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. No, as I told you. Please do not get confused. It is being implemented by Ministry of Labor and Employment and not the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. 
So this will be the correct answer guys to this question option B because we have to identify that one incorrect statement. Question number three. With how many universities has National Mission for Clean Ganga signed MOU to bring the student community to the forefront of the mass movement for creating a sustainable ecosystem of our rivers. Okay, so remember there was an event uh, uh, from the Namami Gange or you can say National Mission for Clean Ganga. The name of the event is Namami Gange Universities Connect event, right? And during this event, 49 universities ke saath MOU signed hua hai with the National Mission for Clean Ganga. Now this MOU will foster awareness among the youth on water conservation in general and river rejuvenation in particular. Theek hai ji? Now talking more about this event, so remember this event aimed to seek the public participation, create knowledge base, short term programs, training session and foster more research on the water sector because it is not only the duty of the government, it is also the duty of the citizens uh, to contribute in cleaning the Ganga, in uh, cleaning the environment. It was organized by National Mission for Clean Ganga in association with APAC News Network and the theme was Igniting Young Minds, Rejuvenating Rivers. Igniting young minds, rejuvenating river was the thing. Okay, that is it. And with how many universities this MOU has been signed? 49 universities ke saath MOU signed hua hai and that's why the correct answer is option E. Moving ahead to question number 4. Very very important question. Definitely you can expect this question or any other question from this news in your examination. Which of the following states or duties were placed in the front runner category which is uh, having more than 60 points of state energy efficiency index of 21-22. So the Ministry of Power, Ministry of Power headed by Mr. R.K. Singh has released the report on state energy efficiency index. Now this report basically uh, tracks the energy efficiency initiatives of all the states and UTs. Right? It was initially launched, the first edition was launched in the year 2018 and this one 21-22 is the fourth edition. Right? It is every year developed by Bureau of Energy Efficiency in association with Alliance for an Energy Efficient Economy. Right and of course it provides insights on focus areas of intervention with respect to state level policy adoption. Uh, what policy has to be adopted to make the energy efficiency to make all the states and UTs energy efficient. How we can effectively implement those policy and how we can monitor all those policy. Okay. Now talking about this year's index, so as I told you, it was the fourth edition and all the 36 UT states and UTs were assessed for two fiscal years, that is 2021 and 2122. And total 50 indicators are there across seven sectors, which are building, industry, municipal services, transport, agriculture, distribution companies and cross sector. So these are the seven sectors where, where energy efficiency of all the states and UTs were assessed. Right. Now talking about the rankings. So there are four categories of uh, states. Number one is front runner, number two achiever, contender and aspirant. So in front runner we have five states. These are Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Rajasthan and Tilangana. In achiever we have four states, Assam, Haryana, Maharashtra and Punjab. In contender we have eight states, Chandigarh, Chhattisgarh, Delhi, Gujarat, uh, Jharkhand, MP, Odisha and UP and the rest of the eight, 19 states and UTs are the aspirants, are still the aspirants. Right, there is a long way to go for these 19 states and UTs. Okay. Now remember to enable peer-to-peer -peer comparison of performance. All the states and UTs in this uh, report were classified into four groups based on their total final energy uh, con consumption. Group one having more than 15 million tons of oil equivalent. MTOE means million tons of oil equivalent. And in this group, Karnataka was uh, ranked number one. Group 2, 5 to 15 MTOE and Andhra Pradesh was the topper. Group 3, 1 to 5 MTOE, Assam was the topper and Group 4, Chhattisgarh less than 1, Chand, uh, not, not Chhattisgarh, Chandigarh was uh, number 1. Okay. And National Energy Conservation Awards 2022 were also given to 3 states which are Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Assam, very very important. And 28 states and UTs have improved their score as compared to the previous uh, index. And out of these seven states and out of these 28 states, seven states have increased their score by more than 15 points. Okay, so that is all about this index and this is very, very important guys. You can expect a question from it. So front runner category mein kaun kaun sa state hai apko ye batana hai. Front runner category mein Andhra Pradesh is there, Rajasthan is there, Telangana is there. I think Maharashtra and Gujarat are not in the front runner category. Maharashtra is in... Uh, uh, 
if i'm not wrong it is in the uh, gujarat i think is in contender theek hai thoda sa mere dimag se utar raha hai one second let us check it yes maharashtra is in achiever and gujarat is in contender yes okay so gujarat is a contender and maharashtra is an achiever ठीक है तो आंध्र प्रदेश राजस्थान एंड तेलंगाना बाकी भी चेक कर लेते हैं कोई बात नहीं आंध्र प्रदेश राजस्थान एंड तेलंगाना यस एब्सोल्युटली लाइट फाइव स्टेट्स आर देयर इन द फ्रंट ऑफ नाउ सो 1 4 एंड 5 इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन डी एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड टू द क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट व्हिच डू नॉट नीड मच एक्सप्लेनेशन बट आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज डू नॉट थिंक दैट दीस क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है एंड पीडीएफ के लिए मैं आपको ऑलरेडी बता चुका हूं ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन Now let's talk about question number five. Nine micro hydel projects constructed under the Golden Jubilee Border Illumination Program were inaugurated recently in Kibitu. Where is it located? So in the last class, I believe we have discussed about this Kibitu village, right? This Kibitu village, uh, we have discussed in the last class also from where the Vibrant Villages Program was launched. So can you identify where this village is? Yes, it is in Arunachal Pradesh. Option E is the correct answer. Which central government organization has launched a unified portal to instill efficiency and transparency and reduce the time taken by the pharma industry to get trade license for narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances and controlled substances? So basically, a unified portal has been launched uh, for all these purposes, and this uh, organization is Central Bureau of Narcotics, which is a central government uh, agency, which is a central government agency uh, dealing with the international trade. dealing with the international trade on uh, narcotic drugs psychotropic substances and other stuffs like that under ndps act of 1985 it works under the ndps act of 1985 it was established in the year 1950 with its headquarters at gwalior and where is gwalior madhya pradesh of course option e is the correct answer which of the following has organized shanghai cooperation organization young authors conference under india's chairmanship So, SEO Young Authors Conference was organized by National Book Trust, which is an organizes, uh, which is an organization under the Ministry of Education. And I have so many, uh, so many times discussed about SEO, so I'm not going to repeat it today. आगे कभी और repeat कर देंगे, because अभी SEO तो news में रहने वाला है till India's presidency of SEO till September 2023. All right. Question number eight: Which of the following is a flagship newsletter of Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0? which keeps all the citizens informed and updated on the activities and events events undertaken by the mission right so this flagship newsletter is named as swachh varta option d is the correct answer question number 9 where has ministry of defense recently organized international conference on defense finance and economics to provide a platform for policy makers academic academicians and government officials from india and abroad to share their insights and experiences on defense finance and economics so where this was organized so this international conference on defense finance and economics guys was organized in new delhi and it uh, saw the participation of usa uk japan australia was there sri lanka was there bangladesh was there and uh, kenya was also there so these were the participants in this international conference option b is the correct answer and the last question for today with which armed force or forces has raman research institute which is an autonomous institute of the department of science and technology signed an mou to develop secure maritime communications using quantum technology so this armed forces indian navy option c is the correct answer it is headed by r hari kumar right and who is the chief army chief uh general manoj pande manoj pande right and who is the air force chief if i am not wrong it is v r choudhary theek hai agar main galat bol raha hu to please bata dena ji theek hai vivek ram choudhary i believe is the air force chief right now so yeah option c is the correct answer all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear i hope all the uh, you guys you guys have uh, got the explanation for all the questions तो मिलते हैं फिर अगली क्लास में एंड कीप देन कीप टिल देन कीप स्टार्टिंग एंड कीप स्टार्टिंग हार्ट गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस